Hello. Now look where I am today. Got the gorgeous Cara Ackerman with me. How are you, my lovely? I'm all right. It's so nice to see you. And you, and you. Now, uh, we saw each other recently at a trade show, we? Didn't we certainly did, And I yes. uh, had a good catch up there. But yes. I just wanted to know, what have you been up to since we saw Because obviously, we're on sewing quarter with yes. me and everything. What have you been up to since I saw oh, you Oh my goodness. Um, I, ca I can't believe how things sort of happen. Um, whilst I was on sewing quarter, I was working for this wonderful company, Creative World of Craft. And um, I've been doing a little bit more with them, a little bit more on the development side. I've also been doing a bit with magazines. Um, just, you know, really sort of finding my my place in different places. But so, enjoy having a good time uh, doing I it. I absolutely love it. I am so, so lucky because I've always had a passion for sort of creative side I was going to say, I was going to say, so take us back. How did it, how did it all start? Were you from a uh, creative family or something? My, my mum was always, um, always, always did creative things. At Christmas time, we used to make things at Christmas. Oh. We used to do lino print cards and marzipan sweets and she was always sewing and embroidering and then when I was at school I, I found my passion for stitching um, so you know I carried on with that my dad sort of said you'll never get a job in no, You'll well, in never our get day, a job. we I did know. sewing. It's like, how I know. many schools don't do sewing and cooking and I all know, that sort of stuff? I now, know. So, so um, you know, I still wanted to follow that. Mm. So I actually went to teachers' training college. Oh, this is where we're identical. I know. Mine, mine were exactly the same. Well, you won't get a job doing that. Go and train to be a teacher. No. So I went to um, a teacher training college um, in Hertfordshire and um, oh, specialised in embroidery. So my uh, main subject was embroidery, wow. but I was junior trained. Yeah. So um, that's, I carried on with that and then I went travelling. Um, after I left college, I went travelling. I went to Africa. I went to um, Ethiopia and Kenya. Um, excuse me, this is my life. I know, it's I've really been, weird. I've been filming in Ethiopia. I know, I, I, I know you mentioned that. And then um, I travelled back over land from Kenya. Were you just travelling? Just um, independently. <gasps> a friend of mine was teaching in Ethiopia, so I went to visit her, but she was actually out of the country, couldn't get back. Um, so I, I, luckily, I was one of my jobs was um, teaching crafts to difficult adolescent girls oh, wow. in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was run by nuns. So um, the sisters actually had a school in, Ethiop in um, Ethiopia. And I went and did volunteering work there. And then I was sort of volunteering and doing bits and pieces like that. Then I travelled back overland, um, was poorly when I came back to the UK. Mm. Um, but then I was contacted, or I contacted um, a company in Leicester um, called Dunley Craft. So right. that's, that was a long, long time ago. I'm not going to say how long. <laughs> no, of course not. No. Um, and in fact, the gentleman who is the boss of this company was actually working there when he was 16. So that's how I got to know him. And then from then onwards, I worked with Dunley Craft. It changed to DMC. Which we all know about. Yeah, I was there for over 30 years at DMC. Um, loved it, absolutely loved it. What so you, I carried on. What were you doing on. there then? Oh gosh, I was um, developing products, um, helping with the catalogue. Um, then I had my daughter, so I was able to work part-time and from home. I did a lot of the PR with them. Oh, so wow. it was always, I wasn't designing, but I was always using the threads mm. and recommending the threads and supporting people who were doing books and things like that. If I said a number, would you have to tell me what colour it was? Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, but, but it's, but kind it's of like it... a mastermind. Yes, yes. I know I still do. I still do because I still stitch. Yeah, of so, course. Um, so there was my dad saying, oh, you won't get a job in. And I, I managed it. But I, I'm so, so lucky and I've carried on. Mm. So um, I'm working with this company, developing new products, um, which is fantastic. So okay. we're, we're doing cross stitch. Oh, here. yes. Oh, that's, I'll get to that in a minute. But who's, who's your, who was your inspiration? Did you have designers that you were? Uh, I, I just loved um, when I was uh, younger. Um, my sister sent me a kit by a company, an American company called Candemar. And I loved their designs. They were absolutely brilliant. We are talking a long, long time ago. And it was before Cross Stitch came into the UK. And at um, Dunley Craft EMC, we actually encouraged people to start cross stitching. But um, cross stitch was perceived as something very sort of high polloi, you know, where oh, people okay. with worked on linen and they didn't. So we, we got into the Ada or Aida yeah. and um, made it easier, made it more accessible to people and um, brought some fun designs in, colourful designs. So Candemar, I think, was um, one of the main ones. And then I just loved like Joe Verso, like Jane Greenoff, all of those sort of people that, you know, Maria Diaz. 
um, just I admire so many people and we actually work with some of the top designers now so there's a de designer called Durin Jones there's Susan Bates I hope I don't forget anybody go oh, no. <laughs> this is like my acceptance yeah, speech, exactly. you know um, but we also look at license products as well so, okay yeah so mm. we, we're very very lucky we're working with a very very amazing artist um and her name's brie merrin oh no is this it's the lady that's yes. behind us this one's here yeah and um you know brie does a lot of fine art um designs but they're available in garden centers and in fact i was at a garden center coming back from a uh, holiday last year and i'm always looking out for different things and um i actually saw some of her prints at this garden center and i thought oh do you know what i would love to do some of her designs as cross stitch so she's not a cross stitch designer she's, she's an not, artist yeah she's an artist but she does craft she does a lot of yeah. crafts as well so when i approached her um you know she understood where we were coming from and we're just so excited to bring some of her designs to market so you've taken her pieces of art yeah and you've had them created into kits to make cross stitch. Yes. And that's what we've got surrounding yes. us at the moment. Yeah, I mean, there's some amazing, and the way that it's been interpreted, um, you know, Brianna, um, her partner, Barry, sort of came to the show and saw them already framed and everything. And they're just amazing. It's, it, it fascinates me how you can actually go from a piece of art and then you digitize it you create a chart and then people are able to sort of create this but it's still it's still art though isn't it, it it's, is. beautiful, it's an heirloom mm. an absolute heirloom i always think with cross stitch somebody is putting their time and their effort into it um, and it is an heirloom because it does tend to be passed down now are they difficult they aren't, I wouldn't say for beginners, Okay. so they're for people who've done a bit of cross stitch, but I think with cross stitch, the most important thing is that you love the design mm. and you can see the design sort of growing as you start stitching. So, um, you know, they will take longer time. It's not more complicated. But it's not like embroidery. No, no, but it's also like, um, a lot of the people who contact me who do sewing, it's not about rushing to finish it. It's about no. the enjoyment of actually it is. creating it. it. Is. So it's That's not right. not worrying that, oh, it could take me a year because no. people are going to enjoy doing the. In fact, they're going to have a loss when they've finished it, aren't they? Because it's like, like finishing a good book. You know I know, I, mean? I know. And what we've tried to do as well, as I say, we've worked with really um, popular designers in the UK, is we've tried to do a balance of designs. So we've done designs for beginners and we've done designs for more experienced mm -hmm. stitchers. So some of our designs, um, we've got a range of poster designs called cityscapes, and they're blocks of colour, oh, so okay. they're much, much oh, easier. Oh, I've seen those, like London, Paris, yes. things like that, yeah. they're lovely. But yeah. you're right, they're just solid blocks of colour, That's right. which would be ideal for me, because yes. I like to do that. Yes. Because so, I presume on these, when you start on these, do you do all the dark brown bits first? How do you... Everybody's, do you... everybody's oh, different. So there's no rule? No, there's no rule, really. Mm. Um, you know, it's how you find it easier and more enjoyable. The whole thing about cross stitch is to enjoy it. Yes. Um, and to get lost in it. And it's it's so therapeutic as well. We talk about mindfulness and well-being and things like that. Mm. And cross stitch is perfect for well, that. It's really weird because when I first started uh, learning at college at Wimbledon School of Art, all the other people on the course had all done degrees in needlework. And I just kept, I was just but on a Monday morning, we do wig making. Yes. And we all start at the same level. And it's like a crochet. You just take yes. one hair, you put it on, you oh make a, a, you know, you get your net and you make all your, your, your foundation. Then you literally just knot yes. each other. And I found that so therapeutic. And I'd go everywhere. I'd be on a train knotting them. It's I just, just love It's them. lovely. It's a repetitive thing. Mm. And it helps your mind sort of rest, yes. I think. Because you are, like fishing, you are concentrating on what you're doing. <laughs> But, you know, I, I think it, I liken it to fishing because there is such enjoyment. Mm. You know, you're sitting there and with your cross stitch, you're doing a bit at a time and you're seeing it grow. Mm. I think that's the beauty of some of these. You've got a plain piece of fabric and you start to see something. Oh, so is it counted? It's or is counted. It, oh, OK. So, so if you buy one of these kits, there's not a picture of a hedgehog no. there and you just no. fill in the gaps. You no. actually. Oh, I see. That's why you wouldn't want to do it just to begin with. Yeah. Um, and do you use a hoop? You can use hoops. You can use um, frames as well. It does help to keep the fabric nice and flat and mm. your stitches nice and even. Um, you know, we're using DMC Stranded Cotton in there because there's just so many colours to choose from. Mm. And you need a really good palette of colours. So a hoop or a frame does help. So in, in the kit, you get the Ada or Aida. Yes. Oh, now, what do you call it? Ada or Aida? 
Is it spelled Ada? Uh, Ada. Ada. Right. Okay, Ada. Ada. Um, <laughs> You get the Ada, you get all the threads you need. Yeah, they're all sorted onto a thread card, so you haven't got to sort them. Because some of the colours are quite close, uh -huh. so, you know, some of the browns are very close. Mm. So they're already sorted for you. Perfect. They just look absolutely gorgeous. Right, OK, I need to ask you one quick question before we go. I could chat for hours because oh, I'm loving this. Oh, honestly, I could. Um, Who's our friend here? Ah, uh, this is Mickey, and watch this space. Nitty Critters, watch this space later in the year. We've been very, very lucky, oh. and he's going to come and join us. Oh, how fantastic. I'll bet she'll be the first one to I know, it. I know. Anyway, thank you ever so much for oh, letting us in. Oh, thank you. That went so quickly. I know. It flies by, doesn't I know. it? I uh, And I'll see you very, very soon. I hope so. Definitely. Thank you. And I'll see you very soon, too.